The human vision system is an amazing thing. Thousands of years of evolution have formed complex interactions between the eyes and the brain. Consequently, the human eye is able to differentiate across a huge spectrum of light and colors. I've been involved in imaging technology since over 15 years and latterly I've specialized in projection technologies. My goal has always been a simple one. How do we make projectors which project the huge amount of colors which the human eye can see? How do we make colors look vibrant? How do we make those colors come alive? It's the job of the industry to inform the buying public how we define the image quality of projectors. We do so by defining standards. Standards help the customers to understand what they are buying and therefore help them to select the projectors for their needs. Traditionally, projectors are ranked in what's called white light output or WLO. This is a metric which is specified in lumens. The problem here is that white light output looks only at the white screen and therefore completely ignores the color images. As a result, it's possible to design projectors which boost the white light output, so the brightness, but they sacrifice colors. As a result, colors look dark and dim. So there are projectors out in the market which do have a very high lumens ranking, but they do have very, very limited color performance. So WLO has limitations. WLO tells only half the story. WLO focuses on measuring only white light output and therefore ignores colors. So what is the solution to our problem? Well, happily, the industry has developed a new metric named color light output or CLO. Color light output is an important metric for the projector's color performance. What we see here on this side is a projector with high white light output. On this side we see a projector with the same white light output but at the same time a high color light output. Well, how do we measure color light output? Color light output is measured using the, or measuring the brightness of the three primary colors, red, green and blue, which together form white light. So comparing the brightness of these two projectors, we have a reading of above 95 lumens for red in case of the white light output optimized projector while the color light output projector has a red brightness of above 295 lumens. The result is that the color coordinates, the color gamut of the projector with the high white light output is squeezed very heavily which means even both projectors have the same brightness in white, the amount of colors which can be displayed and shown in the projector with the high white light output is very limited compared to the projector with high color light output. Defining light and color in these terms allows us to design projectors which display stunning and vibrant colors. Impulsively, the human eye and brain do not quantify color. We do, however, know if we feel images are too bright, too dark, or if colors look odd. We don't analyze color, but we do have an emotional response to color. We can be excited by color, we can be scared by color, we can even be persuaded by color. Color is a powerful tool, and customers know this. And I'm convinced that color light output will help them to make more informed decisions when purchasing projectors.